Hey what's up guys welcome back this is Ashok from TechEB and today we'll be taking a look on new room for OnePlus 5 so without wasting any time let's get started this room is called as AOSIP that is Android Open Source Illusion Project going to settings system about phone these are the software information as you can see this is based on Android 8.1 Oreo with a security patch of 5th Jan 2018 and I'll mention all the download links in the description below. In this video, I'll show you the benchmark results, battery sats, installation process and what are the customization options available under this room. So first look will be this. You have a launcher here. Going to settings, you get lots of options to customize the launcher also. Then moving on to the settings and here you have a customization options available that is called as Owl's Nest. Under this, you have all these options to customize the device. This will take a look later, one by one we'll cover all these things. After that going to display here you get ambient display which works perfect without any kind of issues. You also have tap to wake and under ambient display you get new notification which allows your device to wake up when you have new notification available. After that going down and under gestures you get few gestures of OnePlus that is camera, music, flashlight and haptic feedback. After that you also have OnePlus additional button option which allows you to swap the button and few customizations of notification slider. So these are the OnePlus customizations. Now going back to Owl's Nest. Here you have options of status bar, quick settings, notification, navigation, hardware buttons, recents, lock screen, gestures and advanced settings. Going to quick settings here you have quick pull down option, brightness slider and show brightness mode switch. Next we have notification under which you have few options to customize the notification light which also have head up notifications available here which can be disabled or enabled and you can also add applications which you do not want to have head up notification. Next going on to navigation bar this options allow you to enable navigation bar and also have few options to customize the height and the width of navigation bar. Moving on to hardware buttons, here you have advanced reboot options, screenshots, lock screen visibility, screen off animation, screen off button torch. Moving on to volumes, here you have playback control, rotation swap, volume key control media and few do not disturb modes. Then we have keys under which you have options of allow button backlight, link to screen brightness, button backlight touch. Under recents you have only two options that is clear all and also you can change the location of clear all settings lock screen having options of ambient display and various and under various you have lock screen shortcuts lock screen charging info media art fingerprint authentication clock widget next we have gestures under which you have double tap to sleep lock screen status bar three fingers gestures which allows you to take screenshots and the last one is advanced settings under which you have launch music application when you insert headset so these are the customization options under Owl's Nest and now taking a look on the benchmark results which I got it on this room. So going with Geekbench application, under this results were single core 1939 and multi core was 6600. Then taking a look on Antutu benchmark results, in this results are 1,66,026. And I did not find any kind of heating issues or uh, force closers after installing this room. This room is perfectly fine. Only issue what I am facing is the network drop and the volt services which get stopped after rebooting the device. Now talking about the battery life and as you can see now right now the battery percent is 57% and the screen usage time is 2 hours and 32 minutes. So as per my usage I have been using YouTube normal usage of the device giving me a good battery life and I don't have any issues with the battery life as per my usage the battery life is perfectly fine now moving on to the installation process guys make sure to download all the files given in the description below one will be the ROM file second will be the Google app package and the last one will be the oneplus 5 firmware that can be oxygen OS stable version also and if you want you can use beta version also there is no issue on using any of those but make sure you use Android 8.0 based once you have downloaded and placed those files inside internal memory, reboot your device to TWRP recovery. Once a device boots to TWRP recovery, you need to locate the files which you have downloaded. So these are the files which are required to flash this ROM. After that go to wipe, advanced wipe and clear everything from here. Excluding internal storage. Swipe to wipe and once you are done with this, go back, go to install, 
install the firmware file first so install firmware and once it is done you need to install the ROM file and the Google app package well flash both of them and I'll reboot the device the device will take somewhere around three to four minutes to boot up once it boots up you can complete the initial setup and start using the ROM if you are facing any kind of issues do let me know in the comment section below and as of now only this much in this video hope you like the video if you like the video do give me a thumbs up and also if you are new to my channel do not forget to subscribe the channel thanks for watching have a great day